All right, so I have here a 1960s-ish. This is a Ted Williams uh, five and a half horse um, outboard here. It's got a Tecumseh head, two cycle. Um, these things were, I don't think they were ever really good, but they were fairly cheap in the day. And anyway, so I got one for very cheap. Actually, I got, got a crap load of them for pretty cheap. So I'm trying to get this guy running. I just took the carb apart, cleaned it. Um, still wasn't starting, so I want to show you what I have going on. This is my spark checker here. I have a very weak spark. So in order to access the points and everything else under there, um, I need to get under the flywheel. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the proper flywheel puller. Um, it's probably at work, but I have something at home, but not enough to... Um, Okay, got it. Uh, I don't have a way to get the flywheel off, so it's actually kind of kind of pressed on there. So um, I'm sure what I did. I actually had I had a puller um, that did not particularly work for this application, so I have to get a little creative thing and show you guys how to do this. Um, first things first, you want to make sure you thread the nut on. Just about even with the top of the crankshaft. Come on, you bastard. I'll show you. Oops. Okay, right there. So it's just about even. Um, like I said, I don't have the proper puller for this, but I'm going to show you what, what you can do. Um, I have a very long pry bar here. Um, I'm not going to use it to pry a lot, I'm just going to let kind of gravity and physics do its thing. So I'm going to stick the pry bar on the cylinder head right here. See how it's just, just kind of hanging out there? I'm not actually doing any prying. When you look under there, you got to make sure that I'm only touching the flywheel, not grabbing anything else underneath it. Because if, if you grab something else, you can actually damage things. So, stick the pry bar under there. You see we have the nut um, threaded onto the end of the flywheel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, my old trusty ball peen. And when you do this, you want to make sure you strike it perfectly centered here. Because if you don't, you can actually booger the threads. So I'm going to hit this. I assume the flywheel is going to pop up. This is going to go flying, but that's okay. Let's try Maybe not, but I think I got it. If you don't whack that perfectly straight, you can actually booger the threads on the flywheel, then you're really up the creek. So, there we go, that's it. And she's off. Now I can get working. Good luck, fellas.